Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to this week's episode of No Train, No Gain. Um, I hadn't freestyled since I did the last episode of No Train, No Gain actually. That is due to that hip flexor injury I got. So I wanted to give myself as much time as possible to kind of try and um, recover from it before filming this one. And um, I wanted to see sort of what was possible and what wasn't possible in regards to the injury. Um, please ignore the fact that I didn't realise that I had actually put my GoPro um, upside down when warming up and filming the basics. But um, yeah, that, that looks pretty pretty weird from that angle. Um, but yeah, with this session, I wanted to kind of um, do uh, spend about 50% lowers just to sort of see what was doable, try and get my touch back. Um, which was a real struggle actually as you'll see from this combo here trying to get um, two alt homie mitch and combo with like an abbas or something in between i think and as you can see i'm just kind of going all over the place so um, it really was quite um, evident how rusty i was and it makes me really sad actually that like nine days off of freestyle is all it takes now for me to completely kind of lose that kind of the touch and the stamina as well um started to put some no touches into it as well um, without too much difficulty this one here is a not too difficult 6-3 um, but it was kind of becoming a bit problematic with the hip still um, one thing one positive that I really will take away though is look how much cleaner these clippers look now um, I really must give some credit to uh, the foot bag I bought one of them I've been practicing with them and I think it has helped my clipper technique a lot so before moving on to the second part of the session um, which was going to be uppers because I had a lot of things with uppers I wanted to try I wanted to just kind of do the typical use up everything that's left in the tank uh, with hop the world and although this was a session where my touch was really rusty as I've before I was speeding up the clip there um, these hop the worlds actually look really good like there wasn't too much kind of movement involved in them um, staying on the spot relatively well and I got 53 um, my personal best is 60 so that's uh, quite a respectable attempt I thought and then moving on to uppers um, my legs were dead at this point and um, I kind of uh, realized like even if you have tired legs it's still going to affect your uppers because you're still using your legs a lot for uppers like even those tiny kind of um, squatting and bending type movements on your knees just to kind of uh, give yourself the correct footing for tricks is really important and I did kind of struggle a bit uh, in that aspect I find myself kind of panic moving around quite a bit to kind of uh, save the combos but um, some of the things I wanted to work on today were things like that just kind of putting in a random lip touch thing um, and also back of the head um, back head still still need to kind of work on a better name for that really this transition here I really like because that's never been a strong point of mine is um, going from back head to top head I've always found that a little bit of a struggle and then here it's trying to start off with some roller type movements and just keep the kind of momentum going and yeah, back headstall kind of stuff was, was quite fun actually, I must admit. That's something I want to try and revisit is doing a roller from uh, back headstall. I think that's that would look quite cool. And um, yeah, this is probably about an hour and a half into the session now. And um, got it again here, the back head to top head, which is quite nice. Uh, excusing the crab-like shuffling to try and recover it. Went for the blind heel and uh, didn't get it unfortunately. And then this here is a nice little uh, roller combo, which um, I wanted to try and get because it involves rolling it both ways. And then on this one, I get it slightly cleaner, but the camera angle is not as kind. Uh, and then just kind of drop it on easy bits as per usual. <laughs> and then here I'm kind of getting frustrated. Now, this shoulder piddle stuff, this is really fun. I spent a bit of time on this once I kind of figured out how to do it and then got it nicely from kickups here. Um, that's really cool and I, I've got a few ideas of stuff that I want to try with that. Um, didn't take too long just to kind of coordinate it, but still hit myself in the face there. <laughs> and um, carried on um, pretty much just doing uppers for the rest of the session. And then the challenge I set myself here at the end was to try and do three of the... Um, shoulder touch to back headstall that's quite a strange transition actually because you just have to kind of trust yourself in your positioning 
and like look up uh sorry look down at the floor at like, the correct time <clears throat> and just kind of cushion the ball onto the back of your head um so I, uh, my aim was to try and get three in one combo and in this clip here i manage it although the third one isn't um as nice looking as the previous two and i think i kind of end up scurrying away a little bit to try and keep it <laughs> i love the little the little run i do there but yeah that was pretty much my session and uh, then slightly differently I decided to spend a lot of time stretching that's not usually something I would do at the end of the session too much but uh, trying to be a little bit more conscious about it so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this one easing back into lowers but wanted to give up a stuff a go as well hope you enjoyed it cheers peace <laughs>